Hello and welcome back to Metal Machine Shop. This time I'm going to be making another gear using the homemade gear cutters that you may have seen in one of my earlier videos. The first job is to turn the blank in the lathe. This is a piece of mild steel offcut and I'm going to be facing it off to give a nice flat surface. A lot of the machining clips in this video are actually sped up, so hopefully you'll be able to tell when that happens. With the blank now nicely faced off, I'm going to put an aluminium mandrel into the lathe chuck. I'm going to be using this mandrel to glue the blank onto for further machining. It's really important to face the mandrel off nice and flat to give a proper surface for the blank to stick to. Before the gluing can take place I need to thoroughly clean both surfaces with isopropyl alcohol. Next I'm using some super glue to stick the two parts together. I'm using plenty of glue to give a good surface coating. I'm going to hold the blank in place using the tailstock just while the glue sets. And I'm giving it a little twist to thoroughly spread the glue around. After about 10 minutes the glue has set and it's ready for machining. At this stage I'm still using tailstock support just in case the glue hasn't quite set properly. I need to machine the blank down to precisely the correct outside diameter. I use cutting oil applied by a brush. It does make a lot of smoke though. Checking the diameter with my vernier calipers. I'm now taking a final finishing cut to get spot on the diameter to the nearest hundredth of a millimetre if I can. With the outside diameter now finished, I'm now facing off the end of the blank. I need to open out the bore and I'm going to start off using a 9mm twist drill. I'm using cutting hole to help the drill. I'm now using my right hand turning and facing tool to machine some features on the outside face of the blank. I'm now using a boring bar to turn the bore to precisely the right diameter. In this case it needs to be 10 millimeters and a sliding fit on a 10 millimeter shaft. I don't have a proper bore gauge so I'm having to use the inside fingers on my vernier calipers. It gets me close enough. The final pass of the boring bar should get me spot on the right bore. I'm testing it on a 10mm drill. That's not a bad fit. Tiny bit loose but close enough for this job. I'm now setting the depth of the boring tool to continue to machine the features on the right hand face of the blank. This feature that I'm turning will later be machined away to form a dog clutch for my gearbox. I made this boring bar from a piece of silver steel. Again I'm using cutting oil to help the tool cut, it makes such a difference.
now I'm lightly chamfering the corners. I'm using a file to get rid of the burr on the inside corner. For this job I'm making a 50 tooth gear and I need my number 3 cutter. These are the cutters I made earlier. I'm mounting the cutter onto an arbor that's going to be held in the milling machine spindle. I've now transferred the three jaw chuck bodily to the dividing head on my milling machine. This ensures that the gear blank continues to run concentrically. I've set up the gear train on my dividing head to create the correct number of divisions. This footage is sped up and I'm going to speed through the cutting of the gear teeth. I'm using plenty of cutting oil to help the cutter to cut cleanly. It's always satisfying when the final gear tooth ends up in the right place and you know you've done a good job. This is what the gear looks like at this stage. I'm heating the gear with a blowtorch to melt the glue and to separate it from the mandrel. It's quite hot at this point, so you need to watch your fingers. And here's the finished gear. Just a few more machining operations left to tidy up the features on the front face and one or two other bits. But the gear teeth themselves are done. And here's another gear I made earlier, and the gear teeth are meshing quite nicely. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did please don't forget to like and subscribe.